secret weapon Lady Louise Windsor shaping up to be someone Queen can rely on in the future. As the granddaughter of the Queen, the 17-year-old is entitled to the HRH style and title of Princess, and royal author Phil Dampier believes Lady Louise could prove to be the monarchy's secret weapon in the near future. After she turns 18, on November the 8th, comma, but Louise will be able to make her own decision regarding her future position within the royal family. The teenager could be incredibly beneficial to the firm, if she decided to become a working member according to Mr. Dampier. Lady Louise can call herself a princess when she becomes 18, it's theoretically up to her, comma, because she's the granddaughter of the Queen, colon, he told the Daily Telegraph. She seems very much a for her age, and she is shaping up to be exactly the kind of person the Queen can rely on in the future. And there's a strong argument for her doing it. The Queen and Philip had 1,500 patrons between them. Could there be some role for her in a waning monarchy? You have to ask yourself who is going to continue their legacy with Harry and Meghan and Prince Andrew off the scene. There's a huge workload there. Viscount Seven to choose for themselves whether they want to live as a private citizen or become a public servant as a working royal. The Countess of Wessex has hinted at her decision to give freedom to her daughter and son James. Do O acute Chung to A tilde Q U I inverted question mark T N Kong Sai Dang Kat Check Dan H I R H They have them and can decide to use them from eighteen, but I think it's highly unlikely. Lady Louise took by storm on Wednesday when she appeared on a BBC documentary honoring Prince Philip. She spoke fondly of her grandfather and their shared passion for chariot riding. In this program, includes her first interview. The royal family recalls, Louise said, The Duke of Edinburgh joined in on my drive, which was lovely, although a bit scary, because he was so out of it. Proved the sport quite a bit. Appearing on the show Prince Philip. After a competition, he would always ask how it went. His eyes would light up, because he just gets so excited, when he talks about it. It's incredible to have learned first hand from him. When we would go carriage driving, he would take me on a different route every day, I do not know how he managed to do that. And tell me all sorts of anecdotes about anything and everything. Following the death of Prince Philip in April, it was reported Louise had inherited his carriage and ponies. He is honestly one of the most interesting people I have ever met. During the BBC film, Louise also voiced how she wanted to make the late royal proud by taking part in the Duke of Edinburgh reward scheme he launched in the mid-1950s. There was certainly an element of making my grandfather proud and honouring him by taking part in the award that has been so much of his life's work, she said. I definitely hope I have made him proud 